It's hard to think of a time when organizational culture has been more tested. We've emerged from a pandemic into a period of geopolitical instability, economic uncertainty and climate vulnerability. It's during these periods of challenge and change that culture is at its most important. And I've been really proud of the way in which our people have responded. People continue to show both resilience and adaptability when faced with the unexpected. As individuals, we've been trying to process the changes we have experienced as a result of the pandemic, not just in our work lives, but also in our private lives and society more generally. At the same time, our services are in high demand. And in responding to this demand, we have made it clear that we will control our growth, acting responsibly, ensuring that growth is rooted in quality and supports all of our well-beings. To meet those needs, we undertook a significant recruitment drive last year. We want great people to join us, grow with us and stay with us for as long as it's right for them to do so. That's why we've asked ourselves, what more can we do to help our people succeed? The result is what we call our people proposition. This defines the social contract between our firm and our people. It sets out our offer when it comes to training and development, career support and agile working. And it articulates the values and behaviours that in my view make BDO a place I'm proud to work at. Our approach means that despite a very competitive market, we ended our financial year with 1,000 more people than when we started which means we've now got 7,000 stories to tell in our culture report this year. Please read it to learn how our people are balancing their work and home lives, building their careers and using their talents to help others succeed. And we've added even more to it this year, as now it's our culture and impact report, as we reflect on the positive impact we want to have on people, businesses and society at large. It makes me incredibly proud to read these stories and I hope you enjoy reading them too.